All right, 26 is another pre-calc problem. Just talking about symmetry. If something's symmetric about the x-axis, same on both sides, that means if we put in, let's say this is negative 1 and 1, that means if we put positive 1 in for y or negative 1 in for y, we're going to get the same x value. So it doesn't change what this is equal to. So what that means, if we can put in the opposite of y, and it comes out to be the same thing as if we just have regular y in there, right? If we take negative y and square it, it's still just y squared. It's going to be symmetric. About the y-axis, let's say for this one, if we put positive 2 in or negative 2 in for x, doesn't matter, we still get 4 out for y. So if we put the opposite of x into this equation, we still get the same thing. So it's symmetric about the y-axis also. And then for the origin, we'd have to put the opposite of x and the opposite of y in and still get the same function. So for this one, it's symmetric about all three. So let's say this was y equals x squared plus 9. If we put the opposite of x in, it still comes out to be the same thing, right? So that would be symmetric about the y-axis. But if we put the opposite of y in, does it come out to be the same thing? No, right? That squared makes it symmetric. So we couldn't put the opposite of x or opposite of y or both of them in and get the same thing. So it's not symmetric about the origin. Right? So this is pretty rare for it to be all three.